In this video, we're gonna tackle the question how to track iframes with the help of Google Tag Manager. All and more coming up. Hey there, welcome back to another video of measureschool.com teaching you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian and today we want to take a look at how to track iframes with the help of Google Tag Manager. Now this is a much requested video actually. I have gotten a lot of questions on how to track a particular iframe but I was really hesitant to make a video about it because in 80% of the cases that I come across where people want to track interactions within an iframe it's actually not possible because they don't have access to the iframe itself. Now, just to explain, iframes are basically another website within a website that loads in that parent frame. So inside of the actual website, you have another website loading and that might actually happen completely remote on a different server on a different website. So you don't really have access to the iframe itself when you work with Google Tag Manager, when you have Google Tag Manager installed on the parent frame because it's a completely different website. Now what if you wanted to pick up interactions such as button clicks, form submits and so on with the help of Google Tag Manager within an iframe? Well, you need to have access to that iframe so you can install JavaScript and potentially also Google Tag Manager. And once you have access, we can do a lot here and that's what I wanna tackle in this tutorial. So now we've got lots to cover. So let's dive in. All right, today our journey starts in our demo shop and I have made up a page here called iframe. And on that page, we have already Google Tag Manager installed as you can see, but also we have implemented an iframe. Now, how do I know that this is an iframe? Well, you see this frame, but it's not always that apparent in a page itself. But what you can do is right click on where you suspect there is an iframe in Chrome and you would see here that it says view frame source because what an iframe essentially is, is another website inside of a website. So when we would inspect this element, we see our developer tools pop up here and we would see another HTML page, a whole nother HTML page inside of our existing HTML page. And that would be apparent through this iframe tag because another web page loads within this iframe tag. If we wanted to see what this page would look like, we can also right click here and go to view frame source. This would be the HTML of the frame. And if you get rid of this view source here at the beginning and press enter, this would actually just load the web page that is inside of this iframe. Now, obviously we want to track what is happening within this iframe with the help of Google Tag Manager. But to do this, we need to have access to the HTML of this iframe. So we need to be able to actually edit this web page. If this is not possible in your case, then you are out of luck. There's no way I can help you track this iframe unless you have actually access to it and can manipulate what is going on in the background of this page. Luckily, we are here on a pretty simplistic demo and I have access to this page and can enter whatever I want here in my WordPress blog and it would appear in this iframe. But you need to make sure that you have access to the actual HTML of the iframe. Why is this so important? Well, well when we start tracking with Google Tag Manager here and for example, fill out this form and we send this off, we see the page kind of reloads, but only inside of the iframe. Our page up here stays the same and Google Tag Manager also doesn't pick anything up that's happening inside of the iframe. So there's no new page view generated. Now what we need to do is actually send data from this iframe into the parent frame. And this is what you call the parent frame here. That's the web page that our iframe is embedded in. Once we have transmitted that data into our parent frame, we can then send it onto Google Tag Manager and pick it up to forward onto our tools. The process is actually pretty simple. We will send data via a JavaScript call called post message over from the iframe to the parent frame. Listen to that with Google Tag Manager so we can then forward it on to any kind of marketing tool. So let's go ahead and implement this. First of all, we need to install Google Tag Manager into this iframe. We could use the Google Tag Manager account that we have already available. So 
This one wouldn't work as well, but you need to be careful with mixing and matching the different frames. And that's why I would recommend to actually use a separate Google Tag Manager account to accomplish this. So I've made up a new Google Tag Manager account. Right now we are here in the parent frame. Let's go to our iframe account. So here we have our iframe account. And in this Google Tag Manager account, we have nothing implemented. Now I will implement this Google Tag Manager code into this iframe here. Now with my WordPress block, this is easily done because I have this in a template file here. And I can just post it in the head. Now ideally you would also input the body tag here. We update this file and see if this works. Let's go into the preview and debug mode. Reload our page. And now we see Google Tag Manager loads on the frame page, but also on the iframe page right here. And it's a different Google Tag Manager account that is loading in the parent frame. So we have different accounts here across these two frames. Now, what will we do with the special frame that is inside of the iframe? We will actually pick up our event. So in our case, this would be a form here. Let's inspect this form and see what the form ID is. We have an ID here, Ninja Forms Form 1. So we can easily go ahead and set up the trigger. So go over to triggers here and build a new form trigger for our Ninja Forms. For the form submission, only for some forms. And unfortunately I forgot to actually activate our variables. So let's do that quickly. Here are our form variables. And go back to our triggers and build a new form trigger for our ninja form. And we're gonna go with some forms and the form ID equals ninja forms form one. All right, let's save this. And now we need to connect this trigger to a tag. And what tag might that be? Well, we won't send it to Google Analytics or any kind of other tool directly because that would actually happen in the frame itself. And we wouldn't have complete control of what is actually happening and firing on our website. And that's why we're gonna send the data to our parent frame with the help of Google Tag Manager. Now for that, we need a special sender tag for our post message that we are gonna send. In our case, this will be for form submits. And we're gonna go with a custom HTML tag. And then we're gonna enter a syntax that I have prepared here, which I'm gonna link up down below. And what you need to enter here is basically like a data layer push method where you would put in an event and then the data that you want to put in. You can put in any kind of key value pairs. This would then be transmitted to our parent frame. So in our case, we have a form submit here and we have a data point. Let's say this is our contact us form. Let's call our key form in this case, an event. Let's make it more clear is the iframe form submit. All right, that should do it. Let's connect it to our trigger and we can save this, refresh our preview and debug mode, go back to our frame and the iframe and let's ignore our parent frame for now and just have a look at this frame here, put in our test data and see if anything pops up down here. We see our GTM form submit happened, our tag fired and the page reloads. So data should now be sent to the parent frame. And in this parent frame, nothing happens quite yet because we actually need to build in a listener to listen for any kind of post messages. So let's do this really quickly. Let's go over to Google Tag Manager, back to our parent frame. So here we are in our parent frame and we're gonna install a listener for our post messages. This is again going to be a custom HTML tag. 
and I have something prepared here, which I'm also going to link up down below. Now this basically just listens for this post message, picks up what is in this post message and pushes it to the data layer. Now in order for this to work, we just need to deploy it on the right page. Now we could go with all pages if we wanted to. We could also say that we only wanted to listen for these messages on our iframe page. So let's do that. And let's say on the page view, we want to deploy the listener on the page path that contains iframe. So let's save this. Refresh our preview and debug mode, refresh our page. And now we have our listener for post messages deployed. Now let's try this out again. Let's put in our test data and send this off. And we see we have an iframe form submit. Now the inner iframe here reloads, but we still have our main frame, our parent frame open. And here we see that there was an iframe form submit. Now nothing fires on this because we haven't attached any tag yet but something was pushed to the data layer and it is exactly the data that we had prepared. We have an event, iframe form submit. We have the post message data, which is in a nested object here. So we would need to build the right variable to get to our data, but we have everything available to now fire a tag to Google Analytics. So we can go ahead in Google Tag Manager and build, for example, a Google Analytics event tag for form submits. Now you could also say this is only for iframes, but you could set it up pretty flexible in that matter because you now have that data available in the data layer anyways. So let's go with our universal analytics tag. We already have a settings variable and we want to send an event. Now in this label, I would like to actually transmit the data here from our form. Uh, contact us form. So how would we do this? We would need to build the right data layer variable. So I'm just going to build a new data layer variable for our form. This is a data layer variable. And now since it's inside of an object, we need to have the right dot notation. This is post message data dot form. See, this should be correct. Let's save this and configure our trigger. Now our trigger fires actually should fire on a custom event, which was our iframe form submit. So in the configurations itself, we will also use this in our custom event here, iframe form submit. Let's save this, save this again, refresh our preview and debug mode, refresh our page and try this all out again. We sent this off and our Google Analytics event tag now fired and we should see this also in our real time reporting that this was successfully transmitted right here. So this is how we can send data from an inner iframe to the parent frame and then forward that on to the marketing tool like Google Analytics. Again, just to recap, we are here using the post message API of a browser, which allows us to communicate between iframes. To install this, we need to have access to the iframe itself. So we need to be able to edit the HTML here. Now in our case, we implemented Google Tag Manager onto a page, a different account. We then implemented a sender message that sends data from the iframe to the parent frame. And on the parent frame, inside of the Google Tag Manager account of the parent frame, we installed a listener that picks up this message and then forwards it on into the data layer, which in turn then informs our tags that we want to fire to our marketing tool. Don't forget, if you're happy with your result, then submit this as a version. Just going to skip this here. Normally you should give a name, but also do this for your iframe. So you're all set and done here as well.
So once this is deployed, you should be able to track across your iframe with Google Tag Manager. All right, so there you have it. This is how you can track interactions with the help of Google Tag Manager within an iframe if you have access to that iframe. Now, if you wanted to download the uh, codes that we had prepared for you, we have made a template for you at measureschool.com slash iframe that you can download there and then upload right into your Google Tag Manager account. And if you have any more questions about this tutorial, then leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, why not subscribe to our channel right over there? Because we'll bring you new tutorials, marketing tech reviews, and more opinion pieces also on this channel every week. Now, my name is Julian. Till next time.